Hey, what's up guys? We're just uh, outside here of, in Cripple Creek, Colorado. Getting ready to do our shakedown camp. We've got a few others with us. And hope it'll be a weekend of some fun and relaxation. I wonder if that's Amber's. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> We enjoyed a beautiful and leisurely ride through the canyon before we hit some more technical sections of the trail. lunch break before hitting the next trail, but we weren't sure what the weather was going to do. Either way, we decided to stay the course. Got a bowl of loudmouth soup in there? In the microwave? Yeah. We have, uh, Definitely started the trail here and have a bit of a rocky climb ahead of us that we're going through right now currently and so far so good. Tell them, Rubes. Like butter. <laughs> <laughs> Steep obstacle here, a lot more steep than it looks, of course. Go like this direction, kind of. Right? Yeah, that left side is the safest bet. Yeah, you try to, try to stay over here, just, and then kind of like line yourself up. You know, like this. Yeah, it's a I would go further right and then cut it in this way and then walk that tight left line. The reason why I didn't want to go on the right is because of the loose rock. Yeah. But you're gonna end up hitting that drop. There's no real way around it. So once you start cutting left, it's gonna put the rear tire right into the drop. Yeah. It looks a little bit more level. At least that's more manageable yeah. on the left.
Nice job. My first time. <laughs> Good job. We got a bit of a winch situation that we need to do to get me around this obstacle. I was first in line to tackle this obstacle and in this moment I was in a precarious situation with a sheer drop off to my right. To focus on the seriousness of the situation, I put the camera down and we all worked as a team to get me through things safely. Somebody keep an eye on the trees. That's fine, I think I'm out of the worst of it. <laughs> wow, that was wild. <laughs> well, that one was definitely a bit sketch. Uh, I couldn't really film anything. I was having to use the winch and steer. It was a little bit gnarly. I had uh, my front wheel up. I might show you some pictures of it, but other the guys, are gonna just back up and go around and meet up with him. So, continuing on. All right, well, we're off the trail finally, and uh, we're gonna be driving back into some BLM land, tucked back behind a park. And I saw a place I'm kind of curious about and hope it's available. set up a camp and I'm making some hors d'oeuvres for tonight. We got blue cheese and steak crostinis. See your ass? Toasted bugs. You wanna? Well, at first you gotta put the sugar on it. Then you gotta... Yeah. Put it. Miss Ruby owns her human. You okay? In true Colorado form, it has started to rain. How you doing, Joe? You okay? Yeah, you could buy it. Getting a little wet. For fifteen dollars, like twenty-five years ago, yeah. thirty years ago. Pop that top. Ooh, chicken marsala. It's, it's so steamy. <laughs> How are you gonna do what you gotta do? <laughs> 
The rain finally subsided, and we all enjoyed our awesome meals as we conversed around camp and closed out the evening. You got cinnamon rolls. Oh, what's left of them? <laughs> we took our time and had a very relaxing morning around camp, but there was still one more thing we had to do before wrapping up our weekend outing. We aired up and hit the pavement because our next stop was Skyline Drive. After spending some time around Skyline Drive, we wrapped up our adventurous weekend having a successful shakedown camp.